centro, ¿quién remata? Cristiano. Welcome to Channel The Golden Goal. We will bring you the fastest, latest news about the day of the ball world. Take the subscribe and press the bell button to see the next videos. Sergio Ramos backtracks after comments on intentional yellow card at Ajax when Real Madrid defender Sergio Ramos has denied getting booked on purpose late on in Wednesday's Champions League last 16 first leg at Ajax. Ramos fouled Casper Dolberg in the 89th minute with Real leading 2-1, earning a suspension for the second leg. Television commentators intimated he sought the booking by the way the rules state a player who purposely obtains a booking can be banned for two games. Following the win, Ramos told reporters he would be lying if I said I didn't force the booking. But later on social media he said the view he intentionally played for the yellow card hurts, insisting I have not forced the card. In a game there are many tensions, many sensations and many pulsations, he tweeted. You have to make decisions in seconds, the best of today is the result. The worst, not being able to be with my teammates for a game. Karim Benzema and Marco Asensio scored second half goals for Los Blancos to put them in the driver's seat of the tie, with Hokim Zeit handing Ajax some hope ahead of the second leg. The return will be played in the Spanish capital on March 5th. Chelsea boss Maurizio Sorry says he is looking for some consistency from his side after they claimed a 2-1 victory in Malmo in the first leg of their Europa League last 32 tie. Chelsea had lost four of their previous 10 games going into Thursday's match, being beaten 4-0 at Bournemouth in the Premier League on 30th of January and 2-0 at Arsenal 11 days earlier. Sorry said Chelsea needed to approach every match with the same level of application, determination and attention. The Italian added, you know very well that, if you are in bad mental condition in England, in 10 days you can lose 3 or 4 very important matches, so we need consistency. We have to approach every match in the same way. It's not easy, but we have to try. Sarri says City's patient approach was rewarded, with City's remarkable title success last season built on recruitment and following Guardiola's approach. Paul Pogba, the one thing Man United star did several times before saying sorry after PSG read Paul Pogba smashed his locker in rage before apologizing to his Manchester United teammates after his red card against PSG in the Champions League. Pogba will miss the second leg after picking up two yellow cards in the 2-0 defeat at Old Trafford. And, according to The Sun, he offered a groveling apology to his teammates after banging his locking several times. A source told The Sun, Pogba was distraught and he apologized to all of his teammates. He felt as if he had let them down and he is now gathered to be missing the second leg. He banged his locker in anger several times. Manchester United fans spoke out on the tram after the game, with one suggesting he had played poorly because of the French media. Jurgen Klopp is looking to find other solutions as Liverpool prepare to face Bayern Munich with a depleted defence. Liverpool host Bayern in the first leg of their Champions League last 16 tie next Tuesday. Liverpool could be without Dijon Lovren for their Champions League clash with Bayern Munich, while Fabinho has also taken a slight knock. The Reds will be without Virgil van Dijk for the tie as he serves a one-match ban, while Joe Gomez is a long-term absentee through injury. That leaves Joel Matey as Liverpool's only fit centre back currently with Klopp admitting it will be a tight race to get Lovren fit in time for the clash on February 19. Lovren has been missing since picking up a hamstring injury on January 7 in the FA Cup match against Wolves, but there had been hopes that he would definitely be fit in time for Bayern. Gareth Bale faces lengthy La Liga ban after Real Madrid forward directs obscene gesture at fans during Derby. Gareth Bale faces a possible 12-game ban after being reported by La Liga to the Spanish Football Federation over his celebration during Real Madrid's 3-1 Derby win at Atletico Madrid on Saturday. After scoring his side's third goal in the 74th minute, the real forward waved his right hand by his head before lowering the arm and then, as he began to raise it again, bringing his left hand down into the middle of it. 
The statement included reference to a possible suspension of 4 to 12 games. Chelsea want to bring in Zinedine Zidane to replace more Izzy Osori at Stamford Bridge, as Sun Sport revealed earlier this week, the Blues boardroom are deciding whether they should make that move now or let Sarri see out the season. Whether Zidane would want to come is another question, this Chelsea squad has a mountain of deadwood and is severely lacking in top-class talent. Taking over could knock Zidane, winner of three Champions League titles, and his stellar reputation, even Hazard may be tempted to stay at Stamford Bridge if his childhood idol becomes manager if Zinedine Zidane takes over at Chelsea there will be a lot of work needed to be done.